So today is the 14th of December 2023, it's a Thursday. It's the last day we are going to be at our B Airbnb. We check out this morning and this is what we're going to be missing. Every day, look across, look over, look down at this uh, busy marketplace. Lots of things to see. It's pretty interesting. And here's the place that we sit and hang up and down and up and down and all kind of things happening. So gonna miss all that, especially the nice view back here. Pretty nice place. The only downside it doesn't have, actually have an indoor living room, so uh, that's the downside. And that it's pretty cool. So we are now heading out for coffee. Try to find another place for coffee. So this every morning, just kind of go out and check it out. Because from tomorrow on, we're going to be staying in a hotel where breakfast is included, and well. That means that we don't go out for coffee, maybe in the afternoon. So today will be the last day for a while that we'll head out for coffee until we stay in another Airbnb or something like that. So that's it for our morning adventure. Uh, we'll not have any for a while. The hotel breakfast can be a little boring. Right? Again, the market where all the actions are. Pork here. Hey, I hear Chinese talking. So they have obviously Chinese folks here. So it's a interesting district one. It's got lots of Chinese. District four is also it used to be that uh, China in district five you don't you can grow up there and never learn Chinese. I mean never learn Vietnamese. But now it's a different story. Red, red melon seed. Haven't seen those for a while. Drinks not quite open so early in the morning. Not quite. Can cool. Cool means uh, crab. So this one is bun made. It's 15k. All kind. Bong mang men ga. Men ga means uh, chicken noodle. Yeah, people coming to buy things. How do you like that? People taking picture of it. Tourists taking picture of this little antique motorbike. Bong Sao Man. 20k. And Phuc Long is a good place for coffee. It's a chain, but it's pretty good. Along with Highland and Chung Yuan is a little bit more higher end. But uh, where they where they serve you, these <coughs> folk long and highland, you basically serve yourself. So that's a little bit of different. Wow, this is a nice bike. 
Ice delivery from the shop, from the factory, I guess. Okay. This guy is selling all kind of remotes. Wow, I didn't know you could make a living out of this. Actually, nowadays with universal remote, you don't really need it anymore. You can just get a universal remote. You don't need to get a specific one anymore. But a lot of people probably don't know that. <coughs> so we're down to the little bit of CD place. You can see that this place has a lot of sports bar and a pub stuff like that probably mostly for foreigners expats and uh, or uh, you know just Western folks that like to hang out at bars and lounges and pubs Wow so many motorbikes so early in the morning interesting Circle K convenience store Three on a motorbike, but that's normal. Beast of burden here. He's got lots of stuff. Working hard. Everybody's working hard. Trying to make a living. And living here is not that much. A hey, uh Typical low wage, let's say a dishwasher kind of a job. Well, we'll pay you about 200k or less than ten dollars a day. And uh, but fry noodle here. But that's not a typical here. So wages here are fairly low. And you can imagine the street vendor here selling stuff for 10, 20 k, which is like uh, less than a dollar, less than 50 cents sometimes. And uh, but they will make a much better living than working for somebody. Very cheap to uh, hire somebody here for sure. Should we cross? We should probably call. Eight o'clock in the morning, traffic very light. Relatively speaking, today is Thursday. So we are at Saigon Center. So walking from our home to Saigon Center took about just over five minutes. And right across the street in front of Saigon Center called Lei Lai is uh, uh, some coffee shop too that we went to the last two days and Jenny wanted to check out another one so that's where we're going blue skies nice sunny day as usual probably going to be a scorcher again um, but in the evening it's always nice and cool this is the uh, Christmas decoration You've Probably seen that many times and probably will see that again many times Bang Cafe, okay, let's go to Bang Cafe, which is like uh, let me show you way up there I'm okay with it All right, we'll decide. So we decided to go to Bang Cafe, which is up in stairs. Probably not expecting customers so early, but hey, why not? They're open. The lights are on. Gallery Cafe is not open. But barn is open. So we'll just have coffee. This is another 
interesting place all the way to the end of the stream I guess <clears throat> First customer. You can grab a book and they have upstairs too. You can go upstairs and sit if you want. But I think we'll just hang down here at the balcony. Back from our coffee adventure. Coffee was, I mean, the view was good, but coffee just so so. Certainly not as good as the coffee from the two previous days. This one was just sweet and not very flavorful. Uh, got a Japanese theme to it. Probably for young people to just hang out. Not interested in the quality as much. So don't go to Ban Cafe, go to Nai or Lava next time. Alrighty, so now we are heading back to the Airbnb, pack up and then a uh, little bit and then we'll check out and go to the hotel. So we are all checked out of our Airbnb and we are on our way to our hotel but we only take a few minutes because it is all still in District 1. We're in our grab right now and uh, going past the famous landmark Job Benton. So just quick swing couple blocks and we'll be there. So we are back at our place called GK Central and we stay here quite often. I think this like the must be at least the fourth time we've stayed here. It's pretty good. Um, little Christmas tree decoration already. Jenny went to get her umbrella. Um, so 
it's a pretty central location rooms are okay I mean not super modern but good enough but the location is what I like and the rooms are kind of nice with a balcony um, so now we are going to go to the piano shop to check out stuff with Jenny maybe she can come start tomorrow to practice a piano and then uh, we'll go get lunch there she is her and her umbrella well, for lunch we are in Vincom Center in this place called Rock and Roll and uh, <laughs> dessert Sin Sa Hot Lo and then we have Bolala we had also a couple of rolls of Boy Goon but we already finished eating that one and this one is Bolala also one of Jenny's favorites and of course comes with all the trimmings so uh, this is actually in Vincom Center which is like a uh, shopping center here shopping center slash uh, office building this place is crowded it's all filled up wow amazing so <clears throat> so this is where we had our lunch wrap and roll so uh, it was okay it was okay it was not bad it was not the most fantastic Vietnamese meal ever but uh, it hits the spot and it's convenient it's clean it's uh, got everything going for it it's inside the mall it's comfortable so can't complain there's a lot of um, Thai and Korean Viet, uh, Japanese uh, kind of uh, food here and not expensive I mean on the average you spend a few dollars for for lunch which is uh, pretty good white Christmas although you see blinking lights not sure if you can see it but it's uh, jackfruit jackfruit there um, on a tree yep everywhere and then there's a big patch of very nice looking bamboo just some old building lots of this kind of stuff around the place just walking back to our hotel from lunch we uh, wimped out we went to the Wincom Center food court for lunch we didn't really have any street food so to say but we got several months here yet so there will be plenty of time for that and, uh, lots of palm trees today is a hot weather so uh, we're gonna go and hide out in the hotel room for a little bit until it cools down then we go to uh, district 5 today over to uh, have dinner and then to uh, church choir practice for Christmas that's Highland Coffee that place is always crowded and I used to spend a lot of time here uh, waiting for Jenny to play her piano now just half a block and we'll be at our hotel lots of uh, hole in the wall restaurants here lots of uh, little things here and the car will turn into you and then play chicken with you so if you're not afraid you can cross if you're afraid they will cross so that's how it works here so pretend you don't see them but make sure you see them and then you step in front of it and you will be okay all right we're there gonna come in to Joe Benton to check it out well not check it out we've been here many times what we're gonna do 
is to get something to drink actually that's all we're going to do so uh, this is uh, good for tourists but that's about it but the food and drink here are still reasonable actually not too bad lots to see and do yep mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, we have one kilometer yeah. uh, uh, yeah. 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 okay. the Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Ah. All we are going to do is sit and drink. Yeah. And uh, two, 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 Đấy thằng có ít gần luôn Lots of fruits <cười> Not enough appetite People buying durian Cà sắp chê, cà papaya Wow all this good stuff. Unfortunately, there's only so much you can eat in a day. And uh, we just can't have so much of it. Ah. Just walk around a little bit. We're not shopping for any souvenirs. There's security walking around. Maintaining order. Everything is nice and safe here. Very good, mm. nice and orderly. Fancy stuff here, fancy purses. Uh, so. Last time there was this fiasco of someone trying to rip off the tourists, got on the internet, things got a little bit went a little bit viral and that vendor was actually penalized so now things are probably a little bit better maybe not sure but uh, we're not looking to buy any of this stuff so it's not a problem Shoes, bags, mostly clothes, t shirt, probably. Um, lots of Koreans, but uh, lots of out of towners, too. Just regular out of towners that are from other parts of Vietnam also. Kong Tiap Tai Nam Quan Lai Chung Nhan Cho Bến Thần Hoi la mok. Wow, go too fast, can read. Uh, 
nice bags here. Alrighty. That's about all we're gonna film of Joe Benton. Starting with Sunrise Saigon Hotel to Cozy Midnight Hotel, Nyaha 2 Hotel, Saigon Charm Boutique Hotel. Wow, lots of shops here, lots of spa, <coughs> massage, and uh, lots of that. And uh, in Korean words and Chinese words, so obviously quite a popular thing to do. And uh, lots of hotel here. I would say this place is about oh, to about forty percent hotel, forty percent shops, and uh, twenty percent massage and spa places. This is A and M Hotel. That's one of them, I believe. Uh, I think there's another one around the corner. And then uh, this other one is called Big Review Sanova Hotel. Don't know what. And that looks pretty big hotel, but you know, <clears throat> hard to say. Some kind of restaurant here called the uh, East West Brewing Company. I guess it's a restaurant pub kind of thing. Mei Chong Laundry. So we can bring our laundry to be done here if need be, which we might. Although we don't have enough clothes to really make a good load. We'll have two Z, three Z's. Adora Art Hotel. Yep. And inside are a lot of places like are these little uh, there's a white one, there's a little lanes and uh, a lot of people live in there. Inside you'll find uh, little restaurants, shops and carts and food carts and all kinds of stuff too. Oh, this one looks like a big one. That's 180 to 188 Lake Ocham. And uh, a, one of them bigger hotels, I guess. What is this called? It's a, some kind of company. One Lay. It's a hotel managed company. La Spa. I think this place is called. Turn around, restaurants, shops, and over there is the Zhongyuan Legend uh, coffee shop. Looks like it's got four floors. Pretty good coffee. A little bit uh, high, a little bit higher end than let's say a Highland. To see Te, quite a popular place, always long line. Alright, looks like rush hour is happening. The motorbike throngs are out, the bikes are out, the cars are out. And of course the souvenir cars are out. has almost fallen and we are walking out what we're gonna do 
is walk through Joventa. Then we are going to take, take a bus, bus number one, to go to eat one of Jenny's favorite food, which is Nam Nung. So, we're gonna cut through this, uh, cut through this market. This is a shortcut because we're supposed to go around the market according to GPS but who wants to follow the GPS anyway? So this place still hopping but it'll close down about 7-8 o'clock I believe the last time we were here with Barry and Gaylene it was pretty much shut down by the time we came came in and so uh, don't come too late if you want to come here but you can always go to Saigon Square or Saigon Center or whatever. So some stores as you can see are already beginning to close. Well, we're going through this again. Not much to see here, so turning it off. So going out Joe Benton up front, you see that there's something going on. Uh, <laughs> oh, Dong has to wear diapers. Yeah. I think we are going to go around anyway. So, uh, yep. Doi moi kai mo. Alrighty, you should walk on the sidewalk for a change. Uh, is that Ham Nghe? I think that's Lei Loi. We want to go to Ham Nghe. We need to go that way. We need to go that way. That way is Hamne. This is Leiloy. Having crossed the street, this is Jo Benton at night. There's a stage up front now. Something going on, but we are not gonna stay here to find out. This would look like a future subway stop. Ho Chi Minh City Metro Benton. So uh, in the future, across from Jobenton, you have a subway. Nice. Taking bus number one, this should be our stop. So yep, yeah, right here. So we should be good to go. So you can see this. Uh, there are some chairs for you to sit down, which is cool. And these are the zigzag which means public transport. Alright, one is here. So we are going on to bus number one. embarrassing somebody had to give up seat for me oh wow I'm an old man we are here just got off that bus this is Chen Hen Dao and all kind of good things going on people eating right on the street that is hot pot Super popular here. Now we are going to walk. Okay. So first, get out my phone. Why don't you hold on to this? You point down and left, and we're there. Down and then left. 
Alrighty. So a uh, busy time of day. Um, people getting off work. So lots of uh, good traffic here. And this is a cinema here. Dongda Cinema. Dongda. Alrighty, I guess uh, maybe one day we'll come and watch a movie and see what happens. And uh, let's keep going. We go down to that street and then we make a left and we should be there in like two minutes. Alright, we were, there's lots to eat here. That's like all kind of food and all kind of shops. Things seems to be doing well and of course. You got those uh, tea carts on the road and they look like they don't look good too. Got two people working the cart. Different kind of food here. Ji Ko Chang. Grab food. Taiwan made sick. Taiwan food. Mi Bo Dai Luang Body and Foot Massage Oh wow, big place for massage Alright, let's go around this big tree here And then cross the street Hotel Huang Long And just down this side street here And we are good It'll be like one block, less than one block Right there. Definitely a foodie paradise and lots of Chinese here. That is Ming Kei over there, Ming Ki. There's Ban Mei food cart here. Nice scene, looks pretty pretty. That's Dim Sum, Mr. Hao. Cha Dao or Cha Yao. And a uh, street card for drinks. Hau Tau means a haircut. Nam means for man. And that's Chong Yuan E Coffee, a coffee shop. And then that might be it. Maybe not. Yeah, I think that's it. That is our place of food. They're grilling outside as you can see. I don't know if we're gonna eat outside or we're gonna eat inside. We are eating outside, which is better because it's cooler. Not so hot. Uh, 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 you kill soy? Tada, long for tada. Probably good. No, uh, okay. Chị tỏ nó Cái cổng của xe lá cây á Còn màu vàng Mình lấy mấy bạch đá còn Một bảy hai Một nước suối một bảy Oh wow Alright, busy street Lots of things happening Lots of food There's a street corner So Quite busy And across the street we see bánh mì and over there is a drink cart and over here wow I don't know what this oh that's some kind of grill food and of course we are at a busy place they're grilling outside and they decide to go sit somewhere else because it's a little bit too crowded and I think our food is here oh, okay
looks pretty good. We have panchang and we have uh, all the trimmings, lots of trimmings. Cucumbers. I'm not sure what these are. What are these? Lobang. Uh, this is the name. Oh, okay. <coughs> Sakot. And gao choy. And sliced, uh, probably papaya or mango. Herbs and vegetables. And noodles. And the dipping sauce. Looks pretty good. I think it's more than what we need for a dinner. Yum. Alright. After we pray, now Jenny will demonstrate the how to DIY your nem nung roll. So take a piece of rice paper. Now this rice paper we no longer dip in water, we just dry roll it. Put the veggie on and the herbs of course. All different kind of herbs. And uh, cucumbers. A little bit of shredded, probably papaya. And uh, yeah, all kind of raw veggie. And then you have nem nem. And roll it up. Dip it and you enjoy. Oh, look who's here! Whoops, I guess I should have shown Jenny eating it. But look at the cute doggy. Oh, he's gone somewhere else. All right, here are the doggies. Very cute dog. And he's like, give me some food, give me some food. And they're always hanging around everybody's table. I'm not sure if you, you're supposed to give them food or not. But they definitely walk around and go to each table and check it out. So, this place is called Chan Hung. Chan Hung Nam Nung. And you can see the grilling there that's going on. And uh, there's also grab here, grab food. Or carry out. No, not carry out, food delivery. They're making sure that everything is hunky-dory. And we are done. We still have veggie left over, bung left over. Because we are saying that definitely don't want to eat until we are full because we are if we do that, then we won't be able to eat dessert, and that would be a shame. So we're gonna still early, so we're probably gonna find dessert. Vegetable dough. I'm eating veggie. Mm-hmm. You say I'll settle for anything, even veggie. Lots of food. This is Sui Gao. Hotel by the hour. Sima King. Well, this is District 5, supposed to be Chinatown. I don't know how much of a Chinatown there is left here. But there are Chinese uh, vestiges of Chinese influence, for sure. They are sharp with Chinese words. And uh, as we walk by, we hear people speaking Cantonese still. Check out that guy on his uh, tricycle uh, and the sugar king. Pretty cool, huh? That's how he sells sugar cane, I guess. And this is a street corner. 
Wow, check this out. They are busy cooking, washing. How how? And uh, doing a good business. You came in pay. And uh, making sugar cane juice. Lots of sugar cane juice. They love the sugar cane juice. And uh, this, even this little street corner has bun bao. Fruits. Still fruits 20k per kg. Persimmon 20 per kg. This is 4 kg for 20. Don't know what they're burning. Fruits up a jay. Up them. 30k. <clears throat> so stir fry some uh, sh snails for you. And fruits. So I guess this is a uh, market. And uh, this is what's left of the market. Wow, look at that. 3 kg for 10 k. It's oranges. Which means it's like uh, 7, 6 and a half pounds for 40 cents. 6 and a half pounds for 40 cents. Which means it's like 7 cents a pound USD how do you like oranges for seven cents a pound so you spend seven dollars you get a hundred pounds you're gonna buy a hundred pounds of uh, <coughs> seven dollar for a hundred pounds of uh, oranges that will uh, last you a while three shirts for about four dollars. Sixty-five for that one. Still lots of veggies going on sale here, and that's fish and meat. And uh, over there, lots of stuff. Oh, okay. I see what this is. Joe, Wapen, 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 all kind of uh, hardware and pots and pans and chopsticks and all plates and all kind of stuff. Wow, even at night. Clothes, very cheap. So even at night, very busy. So you can imagine during the day in the morning, this is a crazy place. So this is probably like 5% of what there is in the morning. Thai Dai Tuk An Jo Mel. With a kid on the bike buying snacks. Uh, little, all kind of hair accessories, purses, bling bling. Camera. Yeah, still quite a bit to go, but oh, I think you've seen enough. You're probably tired right now. Lots of towels here. 
Well, time for something sweet. So, uh, wow. Bring out all the utensils for one little dessert. Now we have a little bit sweet dessert um, before we go sing. We already uh, we're gonna split one because it's too much for us. And here they give you uh, all the trimmings for two. So pretty noisy place. Uh, we're sitting inside and outside so we don't get as much dust from the traffic. So after quiet practice, uh, they are trying to replace this backdrop for the uh, podium for the stage. And this was sitting in front of the stage. If you've seen online uh, streaming, you have seen this was uh, at the back is a metal structure and I think they're gonna replace it with the Christmas one so that's what they're trying to do pretty heavy stuff need a lot of hand to uh, do that I think these are fastened by these screws so uh, <coughs> since there's only one electric screwdriver so it'll take Wow, Brother Leung is using his hands here. The rest of us can only watch. <laughs> <laughs> 